Hello, Kula here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, I am finally making some videos again. I do apologize. It's been kind of a little bit of a while. Um, I've just had kind of a busy week. We've had some changes in my husband's and my work schedules. There was Labor Day, and so hopefully things are mellowed out now and I can finally get some stuff done. I get back on a regular schedule. Um, I am wearing a really, really sheer coverage foundation today. I'm actually wearing the Paracon MD No Foundation Foundation Serum. So it, it you know, it doesn't provide much coverage so you can see my acne so I do apologize but I didn't really feel like putting on a lot today today's kind of a relaxing day for me I wanted to make some videos for you guys and for this one I'm going to talk about an order I placed with an independent cosmetics company I ordered some eyeshadows from look at this like super interesting manila envelope uh, I ordered some eyeshadows from Geek Chic Cosmetics um, I got my very first, you know, Glamour Doll Eyes of the month for August, and I fell in love with it, and I ordered stuff from Glamour Doll Eyes, I ordered stuff from Darling Girl Cosmetics, and I just fell in love with Indie Cosmetics. So I kind of searched for a couple of interesting companies I wanted to try. Geek Chic kind of stood out to me because they obviously make geek and nerd themed eyeshadows. Um, I ordered eight sample sizes because there's no way I'm ever going to go through a full thing of eyeshadow, especially with all the eyeshadows I got, so I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I got and kind of show you what it looks like. So as I said, I got eight shadows, so they send their samples out in these little, I'm not going to show you guys, I'll just show you one. They send them out in these little clamshells. I think I like these better than the sample baggies. Um, on Geek Chic, you can choose between these, which are, I think are $1.25 each, or you can get the full sizes, which are, I think are like $6 each. And so I went with all the sample sizes. I think this is a really good size for what my needs are, especially for how quickly I go through eyeshadow. Um, I got Luck Dragon, which is from their um, Never Ending Story collection. It's based on Falcor. Falcor, right? Falco? Falcor. The Dragon. And it's just this really pretty pink. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you guys these very well. But I thought it was super pretty. And let's see if I can even swatch these for you guys. Because I didn't plan ahead for this video. And these clamshells are kind of messy. But I think they're less messy than like bags would be. So that is Luck Dragon there. Right? Is that what it's called? Luck Dragon. It's just a really sheer pink with a ton of shimmer in it. So I thought that was super pretty. Uh, I also picked up, let's do the ones I didn't get more than one of in collections. This is Sexy and Suspenders. This is from their Doctor Who collection. And this one, let me get it open here. I'm going to make a huge glittery mess. This one is really pretty. This is kind of, oh, I just dropped a whole bunch. This is kind of more of a neutral with a ton of shimmer in it. And I thought this was super pretty and I wanted to get something from the Doctor Who collection. That's it right here. This is going to be like a very gentle and cautious video just because I'm going to try to not spill. And just like, look at this. These are on bare, unprimed, dry swatches, but that is just gorgeous. It's like an orangey kind of color with pink sparkles. Super pretty. Oh, I'm going to have to clean up so much. Okay, these are kind of messy, but I'm assuming these are less messy than a bag would be. Uh, this is Katamari King, obviously from the Katamari Damacy games. This color is apparently based on the tights of the king, which is hilarious. This is really pretty sparkly lavender color. I'll get this one swatched for you guys. That's it on my finger. Woo! I don't know if you guys can see that, but it like kicked up some dust. So this one is definitely sheer on dry application. A lot of shimmer in it though, but it's a very pretty lavender. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. Oh, you can kind of see it, how it reflects in the light. But this is a really pretty lavender, and I really love those lavender kind of colors. So let's get this cleaned up. Next, we'll do one more that I didn't get more than one of in the collection. This is Princess in Distress. I think this was a Zelda one. Nope, this is Mushroom Kingdom. So this is from the Mario collection. And then we'll open this one up. This is a different color than I thought it would be, based on the color online. This is really more like gray white. I think when I saw the swatch it looked more purple to me, more, more pink. It was more pink online. We'll see how this one swatches because with these independent like pigmenty kind of colors you never know until you swatch them. So that's it right there. I'm gonna take a lint roller to my desk. So this one's definitely more pink when you swatch it. Again these are dry so they are gonna be a little bit more sheer, more glimmery. 
but that is Princess in Distress there. And then I got from the Portal collection, I got Portal Orange and Portal Blue because you can't have one without the other. And if you guys haven't played Portal, um, that's the color of the portals. You make blue and orange so you can tell the difference between the two. This is Portal Blue. Very, very bright blue. Gorgeous. Have no idea when or how I'm going to wear this, but we will try. Oh, that's too much on my finger. That's Portal Blue. Oh my god, I just everywhere. It's everywhere. Ah, that is stunning. That is a really pretty, like, turquoise blue. That is really close, too, I think, to the actual color of the blue portals, so that's cool. And then Portal Orange, which is another color that I, I don't know when or how or where I'm going to use it. Maybe Halloween. This is like a pumpkin orange there, and this looks like it's going to be pretty accurate, too, to the actual orange portal. Kind of a similar color to Chell's jumpsuit. So that's Portal Orange. Put it next to Portal Blue. Yeah, it's definitely a really pretty tangerine. It looks like the color bases for these two are more matte and there's less like actual glitter in them. So that's Portal Orange and Portal Blue. Hopefully they don't stain me. That's one thing I don't like about pigments is staining because I don't want... You know, see it kind of stain my finger blue. Just don't like the idea of staining the skin around my eyes um, like blue or green or purple. And then finally I got two from the Lord of the Rings collection. Uh, I got one ring because, wait till you see this, then you'll know why I got it. I, it's just, oh, so sparkly. That, like, that, this is more sparkly than I ever even dreamed. Like, it's, it, look at that. This is gonna, I'm gonna have to, like, foil this, and I'm gonna have to put down a glitter coat, and, oh, it's just, I love gold. I love gold like shadow and pigments and just this is just just gold everything that's so pretty super pumped about that one and then I got Lady of the Golden Wood which is for Galadriel because she is my favorite character in the book and in the movie so there <laughs> I really love Galadriel like I watched the first movie like six or seven times in the theater and I always got really really excited when they saw Galadriel so this is just a really pretty white with a ton of sparkle in it. And I think it had like a very interesting kind of like duochrome in the swatch that I saw online of it. So this is it right here. And then yeah, there's like a really pretty pink duochrome to it. And I think it's mixing with the gold from one ring, but it actually looks really pretty. So really excited to use that one. I can't wait to see what these look like foiled too. I haven't swatched them at all wet or anything. And I'm still waiting to find a good foil medium. I do want to try Glamour Doll Eyes' Foil Me because that's what they do all their swatches over and they all look super gorgeous. So I think that's a really good one to try. Um, I know Darling Girl has one, but their turnaround time is kind of long. So we'll see. But that is my very first order from Geek Chic Cosmetics. Um, they are $1.25 for the little samples. I think that's totally worth it. This whole order was like 10 bucks. And I think I paid like a couple bucks shipping on it. And it's amazing. And I'm really excited to use these products. I'm just super into indie cosmetics. If you guys know of any really cool brands to try, like let me know. Because I will definitely check them out and I will see. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And hope you have a great rest of your day.